Hi, Phoenix Rising here, and tonight we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison between the Fleur Thermal Sight Pro PTS-233 Thermal Weapon Sight and an Armasight COMR Gen 3 Pinnacle Clip-On Night Vision System. We're going to be doing this testing at 100, 200, and 300 yards on a pitch black night. So it's going to be uh, challenging for the Gen 3 night vision. And we're also going to be using some illuminators to show you how they work and how, they, how well they function. Uh, so let's go over this equipment and uh, then we'll head out to the range. Okay, Fleur Thermal Sight Pro PTS-233. This is an entry level thermal scope. It's also a very utilitarian thermal scope. Uh, one and a half X resolution in the front end, or one and a half X magnification in the front end, and uh, it has a 12 degree field of view. Now, this particular scope has a 340 by 256 sensor running at 60 hertz, so good high frequency, not the highest resolution out there, but again, this is a kind of an entry level scope. And in the back, we have a 1280 by 960 display which is a very clear very bright and we're going to actually be taking video through the display or of the display not internal recorded video because i want to show you what you see not what this thing can record now a couple other things about this i said it was very utilitarian uh, it's not really marketed as such but it has three different profile saves in here so you can mount it on three different weapons zero them switch weapons and just spot check zero so it's very adaptable in that regards it's small and light enough that you can hold it in one hand comfortably uh, and use it for a just an observation device. Uh, if you're going to do that, I recommend taking a section of a Picatinny rail, putting a key ring on the back of it and a camera strap. You can wear it around your neck. It's not that heavy. You could wear it while tromping around in the woods and use it as an observation device comfortably. Okay, So Fleur PTS-233. Now, our second device is an Armasite COMR Gen 3 Pinnacle Clip-On. This is a has an ITT or IIT Gen 3 Pinnacle image tube in it at 60 running 64 line pairs per millimeter, so very fine detail resolution coming out of this thing, very high light amplification. And this is a COMR, which means media, the MR is medium range, so this particular lens has a 12 degree field of view at the front. So 12.6 degrees, 12 degrees, we're going to get an apples to apples comparison of the detail that these both of these devices can reproduce, okay? So, and, and to me that was important in doing this test because it's, if you're looking with things at different magnifications and uh, it makes it kind of hard to really see the true difference. Now, uh, this is the back end of our COMR, as you can see, traditional uh, green night vision display. Now I will say when we're out here taking video that uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to get good video through the back of this as it is through any traditional night vision device. The reason for that is these don't put out a lot of light. Uh, plenty for the naked eye but as we all know try and take pictures in the dark with a camera versus what you see and they don't see as well. So I did, uh, to try and mitigate that and get good video, I did take and put a DSLR behind this with, uh, with an f1.8 lens, but the video may still, well actually it is still going to be just a little bit darker than what you perceive in looking at it. So here are our two units, again, both the same field of view, uh, 64 line pair per millimeter, 340 by 256 sensor array, which by the way, if you do the math on this for the field of view on this particular unit, that comes out to each pixel representing two and a quarter inches square area at a hundred yards. So thermal has thermal. You can see heat. You don't need light. But lower resolution compared to the 64 line pair per millimeter, which as you'll see, a lot of detail on this device that this does not have, but things stand out in this and they don't in this nearly as well, especially being a monochrome type of device. So let's go out, play around, look and see how these perform.
This is the range we'll be doing our testing at. On the left, far left, you see a 50 yard target, then berms at 100, 200, and 300 yards. Uh, this clip was taken a couple days prior to the actual test, so uh, different targets are up on the uh, target stands. Okay, so here we are at 100 yards. Uh, that's my son standing there. Let me see if I can get this thing focused a little better. There we go. Now as you can see, in the thermal at 100 yards, my son stands out uh, very clear. Uh, not so much so on the Gen 3, but you do have detail. And this is without illumination, pitch black night, worst case viewing. Okay, so let's turn on our 940 on low, uh, which is at 100 yards is barely visible. And now, look at the difference. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to have him go out to 200 and then 300. Okay, go on out to 200. Okay, so... And he's got his headlight on. Of course, the thermal doesn't detect visible light, so. And interestingly, and this is something, uh, too, with night vision, is depending on the clothes you're wearing, the color you see with the naked eye is not what night vision perceives, okay? Synthetic fabrics look white, uh, regardless of the dye that's been put into the fabrics, where cottons tend to blend in. So, uh... We found that a little earlier when I tried to do a video using two different shades of paper targets. They were recycled paper, an orange and a blue, and the night vision really didn't pick up the silhouettes because the dyes themselves weren't really any different in uh, their IR reflectivity than, uh, than, than the paper was. Uh, so definitely a lot of different considerations that can either uh, help you find or see something versus uh, not. So okay, he's just about out to the 200 yard marker. So as you can see on the floor, you could tell that that's a person. Uh, okay. But uh, but you, you'd be kind of hard-pressed to take a shot with this 1.5x scope. Now, we have the 940 illuminator on low. And as you can see resolution-wise, let me see if I can actually clear this up a little bit. You can see at 200 yards on this Gen 3 device, you have clarity, but unless something's moving, uh, you have detail, but because it's monochrome, uh, you're likely to miss a target where you won't with thermal. That's the biggest advantage of thermal. But you do have much more detail with uh, the Gen 3. So let's brighten that up just a little bit. Okay, now that's 940 Illuminator on medium. Uh, and it is absolutely invisible at 200 yards. And there you have it. There's uh, 200 yards, what you'll see, Gen 3 Pinnacle with, uh, with, a, with a thermal. Okay, go out to the 300. So let's uh, focus our night vision here at, uh, to the 300 yards. And again, this is a medium range uh, Gen 3 scope, or Gen 3 clip-on. Uh, it's designed for, again, a couple hundred yards out, generally speaking. So uh, we're getting to the range limitations of it because of the magnification level. 
Uh, we do have a really good field of view though, which is, uh, you know, for most purposes, uh, highly beneficial. Okay, so he is at 300 yards, or just about. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to high on the 940 illuminator. So you can see, because his uh, this is monochrome, he's blending in pretty good. So, Okay, lights out. Okay, so again, 300 yards. Uh, now you're getting to where you're kind of approaching the detection range of the FLIR. And again, if it's a person and you're scanning, you probably wouldn't recognize that it's a target of interest unless they're moving around or like uh, you can kind of see, uh, pick out a little bit of detail there. And uh, again, that's 300 yards. FLIR 1.5X uh, PTS 233 Armasite COMR Pinnacle, Gen 3 Pinnacle, with a 3X prism scope behind it. Now, I'm going to turn off the illuminator, and without any assistance, that's what you're going to see on a higher-end Gen 3 device. Now we're going to turn on our modified 850, and that's on low. medium and high and you can see you're kind of whiting out a bit now uh, with that kind of a uh, now this is invisible at 300 yards and you might make out somebody if they're moving around but if they're stationary you likely won't and lastly let's go to our straight 850 which is visible uh, at 300 yards and again uh, you have pretty good detail, but if he wasn't standing in front of the whiteboard, you wouldn't really, you might be able to pick him out, but again, uh, hard to say. And that's cycling between all three levels on the uh, 850, and really uh, all of them are, are, are putting out too much light for the Gen 3 night vision.